In this video, I'm going to show you an easy and cheap way to figure out the right size furniture for your place so you can avoid the hassle of returning furniture or just being stuck with awkward living spaces. And make sure you stick around till the end where I'll be sharing a few more bonus tips that will help you imagine and lay your space out even better. So very often we rent out the space and we're very excited, but we're also very rushed to get it all set up. So we start buying our main furniture, like our couch, our dining table, our coffee table. And sometimes when it all comes together, it just doesn't work. And I've helped a lot of friends move in. And even though we've discussed the space and we've said, oh, the, you're gonna need a couch here. You're gonna need a bookshelf here. You're gonna need blah, blah, blah. And then they feel like, okay, they're ready to go get it. But then I come back for a visit, I'm like, what the hell happened here? Your bean bag is the size of your coffee table. If you don't study design, you might not have a good idea of scale. So this video is for all my current and future friends who want to lay out their space without hiring an interior designer. It'll help you know the maximum and minimum dimensions of everything you need. So friend, I hope this helps. I'll be mostly shooting out here because the echo in here is really bad. And if you're not at the stage yet and you're still apartment hunting, make sure to check out this video because it will go through all the qualities you need to check for in order to ensure that the apartment you rent will be a cozy and comfortable home for you. All right, let's go. All you need is a measuring tape. I keep this pocket sized one wherever I go in case I need to measure something or a laser meter, which is a very handy tool. It's painter's tape. I like this tape because it doesn't have a very strong adhesive. We're gonna be sticking this all over the floors. You wanna make sure that no polishing comes off and you can easily write on it. I'll drop a link in the description below for some of these products. So I'm helping my friend out and we're discussing how to lay out the living room. There are three main pieces of furniture that belong in any standard living room. A couch, a coffee table, and a TV unit. So this is the living room we're laying out today. You can see it's connected to the bedrooms right here. The dining room is right there. And this room gets great light because of the south facing window. So what are our options for laying out the space? So we can put the couch on this wall or that wall. We're gonna make this decision based on two things, the view and the entrance. If we put the couch on this wall, we'll be giving our backs to anyone who walks into the space. However, if we put the couch on the other side, the living room is always facing you when you come home. It's kind of welcoming you and it's open. The view on this side has a really nice bamboo tree that kind of isolates you from the city. Whereas on this side, this tree hasn't bloomed yet and we see a lot more of the neighbors and of the street. So we prefer this view. And he knows he wants an L-shaped couch. So will the L-shape be along the window or facing the window? Option A would be if you have the corner closer to the window, you can sit there, read, relax while having a nice view of the bamboo tree. The couch is also open to the rest of the space. Option B would be, if we have our corner piece facing the window, we'd be giving our backs to the dining area as well as the kitchen. So when you or anyone comes to visit, you'd be seeing the side view of the couch, which can be a good idea if the dining room was your office, for example, and after you were done with work, you don't want to see your work anymore. So you'd want to give your back to that space. Since it's just a dining room, we're kind of preferring the open plan. So we're leaning more towards the open space. Now, there are a few ways to go about laying this space out. You can either go online and find the pieces that you like and write down their measurements, or you can use standard dimensions and use them as a guideline, which is what I'll be doing in this video. So what I'm gonna do is grab my tools and head over to where I want the couch. So I'm gonna keep all my tools in here so that I'm not looking for them everywhere. First thing we're gonna do is draw out the back of the couch. I know I don't want the couch to be sticking exactly to the wall. This makes it easier to clean, organize cables, and walk behind if you need to. I'm just gonna measure one foot out from both sides of the wall, and that will give us abundant space. So using my foot, which is approximately a foot, I'm gonna draw my first reference line. Now we're gonna do the other side, because it's an L shape. So now we've defined the back of the couch. Now, since the depth of a couch is 40 inches, I take my meter, I measure 40 inches, and I tape down a line. And if you have straight lines on the floor, you can use them as a guide. So since I want an L-shaped couch, I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. Okay, now the width is about 230 centimeters or 90 inches. So I'll measure that on both sides and tape it down. So make sure the corners of the tape overlap so that when you come to remove this tape off the floor, it comes off in one continuous pull. Okay, our next piece of furniture is the TV unit. We'll leave the coffee table to the end because they come in all shapes and sizes. So a standard TV unit is 20 to 24 inches deep, which translates to approximately 60 centimeters deep. So, and we need to be conservative. It's much better to overestimate than underestimate. 
So we're gonna be using 24 inches, 60 centimeters. So this piece of furniture can be closer to the wall since we don't need to walk behind it. We just need to leave a little space for cables. So let's measure 24 inches and tape down a line. Make sure to start in a corner and go in one direction. If you start in the middle, you have to go left and right and it just doubles the work for you. So the average width of a TV unit is 63 inches, about 110 centimeters. So we can find the middle point of the wall and mark it on both sides. All right, now we have our couch and our TV unit all set in place. So one pro tip is to measure out circulation you have to make room for how you're gonna move around the space. So what I usually do is I find a reference measure, so I'll usually go to a doorway and I'll see how I feel in that space. And if it feels good, take that measurement. So this is about 24 inches, 60 centimeters, which is very comfortable for me. So I'm gonna lock it at 25 inches. So I'll measure that from here and I'll draw a dash line. Since this is not a hard, furniture barrier. This is just an implied line of ideally we want this amount of space between this furniture and the next piece. Don't overdo it with the dashes because they're really annoying to remove at the end. So just do two or three so that you can visually see that line. So this would be the maximum for the coffee table. Now we also need to define the circulation between the couch and the coffee table. If you're someone who likes to get home and put their feet up, just like I do, you can grab any chair that's within the space or anything that's approximately the same height as a chair sit on it and put your feet up. Drop them and tape right underneath. This will be the limit of your coffee table. It's not as much space as you have between your TV unit and the coffee table, but it is enough space to get through and enough space for the coffee table to be close enough for you to put your feet up. Do this on the other side as well. We just want to clean up our furniture so we can see it clearly. You can put your foot and tear. So now we have three edges of our coffee table. That's the maximum size of our coffee table. We're probably not gonna have a coffee table that big, but it's good to know. Now the fun part, this is when we need our marker. So we're gonna measure what is the maximum of our coffee table, 58 inches. While the measurements are still fresh in your mind, grab your marker and go ahead and write your maximum dimensions on the tape. Now, once you have all these dimensions, you can go around and take photos and have them all in an album on your phone. So when you go shopping, you know what the dimensions are, or you can write them on a sticky note or even notes in your phone, however you want to organize yourself, but that's the information you're making your decisions with. With this tool, you can lay out any space and be sure that it will be functional and comfortable once you buy all the furniture and put it all together. This will make your shopping experience that much more joyful because you know that you are making logical decisions that are going to work in the space. One more pro tip for those of you who are still having a hard time visualizing the space with just tape. You can grab any furniture like chairs that you have hanging around or you can even use cardboard boxes just to see that when the space becomes 3D, how it will work together. I hope you found some tools in this video. Let me know if it was helpful in the comment section below or if you have any other obstacles in laying out your space. And once you've laid it out and furnished the space, make sure to check out this video where I show you eight ways to cozify and customize your home to be a comfortable, inspiring sanctuary for yourself. And if you just want more and more tools on how to deal with spaces in general, hit the subscribe button so I can see you at the next video.